Morning guys, right, today I'm going to be putting in a new hob circuit and also going to be dropping on a cheeky little um, weatherproof socket at the back. Um, so you may remember this if you've watched the previous video. So this is the BG board that I've installed. So we've got an RCBO ready to go. Um, the client's having a new induction hob um, changing over from gas. So at the minute they haven't got anything they've got double oven but obviously that is already taken care of so we're going to be running a new little radial circuit clip direct nice quick cheeky one and uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed make sure you do so so right let's get cracking so first things first um i've drilled through so basically the kitchen is literally here it couldn't be any easier really so my kitchen unit so the hob is actually here um, so we're actually going to be whacking in the isolator to the unit next to it because we don't want to take care of any of the decorating and all that sort of stuff. So I've drilled through at this point here. So the idea is that I'm just going to clip direct all the way around. But as you can see, I've got a few little obstacles, so I might have to move a few bits and bobs around um, and then get that back up into said board. So bear with me while I crack on and get that cable sorted. Okay, so the cable's run round now, so we'll clip that through. So we'll put some fire sealing on the back there. So clipped, so clip direct, which is exactly how it sounds, um, is clipped directly to the blocks. Um, it doesn't have to be in anything else, doesn't have to be any more, anything jazzy, you don't have to have mechanical protection on that because it's all exposed within, obviously, the garage and things like that. So you can clearly see it. You don't have to worry about, you don't have to put it in trunking, all that sort of stuff. Yes, I could do, but I, I haven't. That's not what it's down for, because at the end of the day, you're doing the job what you paid for rather than what you would dream for, if that makes any sense. Um, so we've got it back to the board now. Um, so we're, we're here uh, as it stands, ready to go, but we're going to go and do the other side now, so where the actual isolator is, because the client's on a, on a call right now, so obviously I don't want to be turning the power off while I get the, the new feed in. Um, but what I'll do is we can go through all the testing procedure once I have got the uh, isolator in. So we're going to be using a 45 amp, um, two, well, one gang, um, my mind's gone absolutely mental. So it's a one gang 45 amp switch, sorry, gone absolutely mad. Uh, and then we use a deep patras on there, so which is like a 47 mil uh, on that bad boy um, for that to go in. And then that'll be ready then for the people who are doing the hob because they've got to disconnect the gas uh, and cap all that off because it's obviously no longer gas. So let's go inside, go and tidy up where I've drilled through and uh, get that fitted together. Okay, so we're coming up to testing now. Um, so we have got it on a 32 amp RCBO. Okay, so maximum perm permitted ZS is 1.37. Um, it's obviously it's a 32 amp. So we'll rattle through. So now we're going to do our R1 plus R2. So we're linking out our uh, 
line and CPC and then we're going to use our MFT um, to jump in and we'll go and test that inside together. Okay, so we've nulled our leads out now, so we have taken the resistance out of the leads. Um, so we sh I'm expecting quite a low result on here anyway. It's a bit tricky one-handed, but there you go, 0.14. So um, because it's only a short run, I'm expecting a result of that, around that anyway, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, that sort of thing. Um, so what I've now got to do is I've now got to do an insulation resistance test. So we'll go back to the other side of the board where that uh, and take obviously disconnect the flying lead now. Okay, so we just got to record our highest results. Okay, and then we're going to go. So insulation resistance is tested at 500 volts on this one. So we're going to make sure that's turned around. 500 volts so we've got it on my line and CPC press and hold test it should be 999 there you go so then we're going to cycle through so move that over to your lot your CPC in neutral whack it through so 999 live to neutral it's a bit awkward one-handed but you get the gist of it And there we go. So we're all ready to go to whack that into the board now. So I've just got to speak to the client, make sure I can turn the power off and then we can get that terminated in there.
Okay, so that's it, all done and dusted. So we're all nicely tested out. Um, all wrapped up now, all clipped up, ready to go, fully tested and uh, on to the next job. So I've been and sorted out the outside uh, socket. So I'll go and quickly show you that because I, I was going to film the whole process, but the client where they're working or the rest of it, I can't. So I'm going to quickly run around and show you that. But yeah, that is it. The board's all done and dusted, nice and ready to go. And on to the next one. Okay, so basically what we have here is the new BG um, IP67 double socket. Um, what I think is a massive improvement on these is that you've got the quarter of a turn um, tops. So let's just show you that. So you, just to actually fit that in there, so it's literally a quarter of a turn and then you've basically locked it all back in. And also the lid's a big improvement as well on what the previous one was. So this one, anyone can operate this to try and sort it. Whereas I'll show you on the original side, which is what this one is. So this has got to be sorted out at a later date. So landscaper job, this one. So this is the original one. Um, quite tricky to actually put in and it's never really ever clicked down properly. Um, and then you might notice the way it's been installed as well and that's armoured so not been glanded properly either so so once again um, massively appreciate you watching if you've got all the way to the end thank you very much um, but yeah so roll on to the next job and um, yeah in enjoyed it it's been a bit longer but overall like I say that board there obviously just just if you haven't tried one go and try one they're wicked they really are so enjoy make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next one take care guys